It is Saturday today. It is not Thursday or any other day. It is Saturday. Thurs the 4th of July on Thursday really threw, threw my days off. Last night was a lot of fun. We had 13 people here. That includes the, the kiddos. And when the two youngins went to bed, we played cards with my oldest grandson, who's eight and a half. <clears throat> he loves five crowns. So we played until I think 11 o'clock, 1130. And our kids decided to have a midnight snack. So they ate the rest of the spaghetti that my mother-in-law made. And it's so cool. It is so cool how they all congregate in the kitchen and have snacks and laugh. And we were laughing so much when we were playing the card game. It was just, it's so fun. I got up today, made breakfast for everybody. And now all of the adult kiddos are napping, except my son who has the baby. So yeah, we're just hanging out today. We're having a cookout later on this evening and just lots of card playing, lots of eating. I'm hoping that all I've done is eat. It's all I've done. I just had a big, huge brownie. Why I'm telling you that, I don't know. Maybe it's guilt. it's guilt. I made two boxes of brownies in the same pan. Oh, my. oh, 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 goodness gracious me. There was just some kind of wreck outside my house. Holy smokes, that scared the bejeebers right out of me. I don't know what happened. Oh, I think they hit the... Okay, somebody ran over this. It's a like a crosswalk because there's a school right there. And the, the sign is on a hinge, so if you hit it, it... It falls off but when I turned around and looked after I heard that noise somebody's looks like they got some some damage on the front of their car because I could see the front fender was kind of hanging after that wreck story I told you the other day I was, <laughs> I was afraid to see what had happened Everybody took off to the pool because they're, they want to swim for about an hour and I've got some things to get ready. So I thought I'd answer some questions. We live in Greensboro, North Carolina, and the weather is absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. I'm from Indiana where the weather was very, very cold and not as hot as it is here. And right now we're having a heat wave. This is, this is a little odd for us. It doesn't snow here. And if it does, it is a dusting and it's gone. We've lived here, we lived through three winters and the first winter that we moved here, there were three dustings. Last winter, just in December, January, I saw one snowflake, that's it. I play tennis outside in January and February because it's that mild. I am outside 99% of the year and it keep, I've never felt so healthy because I get so much exercise and sunshine. I can't say no, enough about North Carolina. Our son who's in the military always makes brownies every time he's home and that's just kind of his thing to do. And he started adding two boxes together because in a family of seven, <laughs> <laughs> we can go through one box of brownies in a sitting. So I always combine two and put it in a 13 by nine and the brownies get, uh, hold on, I'll show you how big they get. I don't know if you'd ever do this, but I can't do this. This is, this is what's left of the nine by 13. Oh, they're so good. And don't think that Aldi doesn't have good brownies. I'm gonna see if I can scratch, okay. I am so sorry. I am so close. These are all these brownies. These are, this is all I buy. 
They are chocolate with chocolate chunks in it and it is absolutely delicious. I always get a lot of questions about our couch. I'm gonna see how clean it is right now. Oh, it's not bad. Let me show you. We actually got these from Ikea and they have removable covers and I just washed them because bug dogs on a white couch. They don't mix, but let me show you. This is called the Upland Couch and all of this comes off, everything. And I always strip it down every couple of months and wash it and it comes out like basically brand new. We have the three seater and then we have the love seat. And I don't know if they make them anymore. I think they make something that looks similar, but not quite. So it, it's called the Upland and you can actually get these in different colors. I have one that is, it almost looks like a very small herringbone or something. Very, very small pattern that you have to really look at, but it's more of a gray color. But yeah, Upland from Ikea. We're having a cookout tonight and I bought some, I don't know if you ever do this, but I bought some potato salad and I think it needs a little bit something else because I think it, it's very sweet. So this is how I doctor mine up. I add yellow mustard. And I know you can buy mustard salad and regular salad. I just bought Southern style. I'm gonna add the mustard. I chopped up whatever celery I had left, sweet onion, and then I have some boiled eggs that I'm gonna chop up and put it in there. I'd rather make my own salad, but I am, you know, you run out of time. And it's very convenient buying store-bought, but I, like I said, I just like to kind of doctor mine up and this is how I do it. The beadboard is actually out in the garage. I just need to stain it and I have to order the glass, which I haven't done. I am doing it this week. Once the glass is ordered and comes in, then the kitchen, uh, our rich, our kitchen person is going to install the beadboard and add the glass. I was gonna add beadboard in the back of this until I realized that the, let me just show you. We're putting beadboard in the back of here and then I am going to either change these out or doctor them up so they look like wood. And in the back of this cabinet, oh, I can't do this, here we go. I was gonna add beadboard until I realized that the sides are wooden looking wooden looking. So I might add wallpaper in the back of that to kind of give it a little more, I don't know, little, little fun when you open the door. Guys, potato salad, chicken, what else are we having? Green beans, deviled eggs, salad, and brats. I made Nestle Toll House cookie dough. And I do the pan cookies, but I just chopped up a bunch of chocolate that I had. I buy the Aldi's bars and I just chopped them up. So that I think there are three different kinds of chocolate in here. Oh, that's too bad. I got it on my finger. Go ahead and bake these. I think it's 325 for 25, 30 minutes. I'll put the recipe link on the screen. I think our next travel date is going to be in the spring. We were gonna go someplace this fall, but our kitchen <laughs> went a little bit over budget. It went over budget because of the floor. It was rotted and they had to put in the new joists and the new, the new, uh, not underlayment, but the boards. And I can't think right now. I'm. My brain is fried. And then it cost a little more with paint and cleanup and things like that. So that was basically our vacation. But that's okay because we are enjoying our kitchen. And in the spring, I think we're gonna try to do England and 
London and Paris. That's where Rob really wants to go. So that should be. I'm pretty sure our Danish friends are coming over back over in October. So in the spring, then when we go to England and France, we'll probably stop off in Denmark either in the beginning or at the end because I always like to to see them while we're over there since it's it's not close but it's close. We're in the same vicinity. And I was just thinking, we really haven't gone anywhere. We usually go to Florida or something. And I'm trying to think, I don't think we've been anywhere. Rob does so much traveling that he travels. <laughs> he travels for me. But it would be nice to go to the beach or something for a week and just relax. But I don't think it's going to happen.